So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I call diagram question. Obviously, what we have here is a graph, right? So I'll write that down as well as a specific type of visual input. And whenever I see a graph question, I like to look at what the x-axis is. So we have number of weeks. What the y-axis is, we have total number, I'm sorry, total amount deposited. And then we have two lines here, one for Ian, one for Jeremy. And then we have all these data points, right? So I'm assuming that, you know, each data point represents the, the total amount deposited on that particular week. So let's read the actual question. The two graphs above show the total amounts of money that Ian and Jeremy each have deposited into their savings accounts for the first seven weeks after opening their accounts. Okay. After they made their initial deposits, which I'll just put in red. So here is Jeremy's initial deposit. Here is Ian's initial, initial deposit. So after they made their initial deposits, how much more did Ian deposit each week than Jeremy? Okay, well, how much, how much, first of all, did Ian deposit each week? So on the Ian graph, it looks like Ian starts off with a $100 deposit. And then week, at, at the end of week one, he's put in, he's up to 200 and then 300 and then 400 So it looks like Ian is depositing $100 each week, right? So... $100 per week. Let me erase this. And then how about Jeremy? So Jeremy starts out at 300 And it takes two weeks for Jeremy to get up to 400 I'm going to assume this is 350 So it looks like Jeremy is depositing $50 per week. So the question just wants to find out how much more did Ian deposit each week? Well, it's just, you know, this is a $50 difference, right? So our answer here must be choice C.